I looked at the situation and I was like, you know what? I'm done. I don't think I need one to keep staying here. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I know we're already one month into the year, but since this is the first video, let me just say Happy New Year to everyone. And as we say it here in Cote d'Ivoire, Bonne année, Bonne année Santé. Bonne année l'argent. Je vous souhaite beaucoup de succès et prospérité in this year of 2021. Now, I know I haven't uploaded a video since September. And for those of you that were checking up on me and wondering what happened, thank you so much. Um, it felt really nice knowing that someone actually cares. So the issue was I couldn't um, edit my videos. So it was a technical issue. I still have some videos that I had filmed that I might still upload this year. I think they are still relevant. So that was that. But now everything is okay. And I hope I just keep up with this same spirit until the end of the year. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Tracy. Here I'm known as Lago Kenyan. And if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload my videos. So let's get started with this video. I'm going to talk about the following things. One, I'm just going to show you how my studio apartment looked like before I moved out. And then I'm also going to talk about like why I decided to stay in that neighborhood because I don't think I really talked about it. And main reason why I decided to leave. After that, I'm going to talk about my new apartment, which is where I am at right now. I'm just going to show you like you know just how the place looks like i'll talk about some of the things that i like about this apartment and living in this area because so far it's been a month already and then i'll talk about some of the things that i don't like so stay tuned for all of that I know I, I had not mentioned in that my moving in video which neighborhood I lived in. So I used to live in a neighborhood called Blockos. It's in Kokodi. So it's a tiny neighborhood. Actually, it's a village of, I think, is it the Ebrie people? If I didn't pronounce that wrongly. It's a very interesting neighborhood. Living in that place was really cool because I would spend less time in traffic depending on where I'm going. As long as I reach Kokodi Sant, I know I'm already home unless the president is passing by but I never had so much problem having to stay long hours in traffic. One of the things that I benefited from was guard the water wall. How can I say guard the like I don't know like where all the water walls like you know uh, park and people get in and you go to different parts of the city amenities we had a supermarket there a market we had a bakery we had a pharmacy there was also a clinic like a government clinic just nearby also in terms of entertainment that is like one of the best places to go and sit in a maquis eat possum braise it was just literally a walking distance from my house in the evening there was street food and then if I wanted to buy gas for cooking it was literally just downstairs there were shops there to buy clothes you could get your hair done I mean it was just a very interesting neighborhood reasons why I had to move out of that place at a certain point I noticed that my ceiling was leaking like water was coming in and seeping through the walls so I lived on the first floor and it looked really bad my bathroom looked really bad and some of the water like was coming into my other side of the room like the closet side I had my clothes were starting to smell really bad like moldy and damp it was also somewhere in the kitchen and during that time like july august it was rainy season the air was damp inside the house and moldy and it was not a good feeling and because the sun was not there so it was not drying and the thing that really annoyed me the most was that even after the landlord came checked the situation went and fixed where the problem was he never bothered to come and fix my ceiling at some point i wanted to paint it myself but then good thing i didn't because i had read like online that 
that will not help it. The second issue with that place was that since it's like an entertainment spot, it was always noisy, especially from Fridays to Sunday. People would come from other areas to eat there and where I lived was not far from like the main street. You, you, you want to sleep, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, people are fighting, sometimes during the week couples would fight. Another problem was at some point, I was just having like issues with rats. 2019 December, that is the first time I realized that rats can climb walls. I didn't know that. The people living below us had so many things near the house and you know, and it was dark and then there was a hole for a drainage system. So this was like a really perfect place for rats to move around. And it just got to a point where opening my door to get like some fresh air in was risky. I had to put a cab, like a cardboard to prevent them from like if in case they fell in my apartment. Um, at some point before that, they were getting into my kitchen through like a crack at the door. I had to like close it and closing it meant that I couldn't open the kitchen door properly. Like. <sighs> It was just like hectic during the elections in October. Like there was a, a bit of chaos in that neighborhood. The people there, I think they didn't want to vote. So they caused some commotion and the police came. Tear gas was thrown. And since I was not far from the main road, like that was the first time experiencing tear gas. Lucky for me, my boyfriend was also there and we just closed our windows. Uh, before the gas got into like the house i looked at the situation and i was like you know what i'm done i don't think i want to keep staying here i'm just glad it didn't really go overboard i don't think i'd mentioned this in my video like how much i was paying rent i was paying a hundred thousand cfr for that studio apartment uh, in some other parts of the neighborhood they would say 120 130 150 and the studios weren't that big and weren't that well done um it's still a bit empty obviously because everything that i had in my studio apartment it kind of made the studio look all cramped up but now we, we, that we have moved into this uh, bigger apartment it looks empty there's a lot of work that needs to be done like in terms of deco so what i really like about this place is the light there is natural light in all the rooms and then you can have like some wind coming in so it's not that stuffy the other good thing about uh, where this apartment is located is the area is generally quiet unless it is like saturday sunday when my neighbors are pounding futu but obviously they don't do it the whole day. And I like just how when I wake up in the morning, I can hear the birds chirping and I didn't have any of this in block cost. It was so noisy. What I don't like about this place, it doesn't have a balcony. I don't know if my boyfriend sees this and my mom sees this, they'll be like, oh, not again. Yeah, I like a house with a balcony. Like why would you make a building without a balcony? The other thing I don't like about this apartment is that we have a lot of things that we need to fix. Things like the closets, they are just in shambles. The wood is not good quality and we have to replace it. The other just tiny, tiny things that need to be fixed. It's the work of the landlord, but the guy is just being stingy. So we're going to keep all the receipts and I just hope that they give us back this money when we are moving out. In terms of accessibility, well, <sighs> getting water waterfalls which is what i mostly use when i go to work it's a bit difficult i have to walk some distance before i get to the main road to catch the water water it's one of those places where it's quite convenient to live if you have a car accessing things like shops supermarkets market they're also near but it's a bit of a distance so that's the kind of neighborhood if i can say i live in right now so how much are we paying for this apartment we are paying 200 000 CFR. apartments like this 
normally start from 250,000 CFR. We are very lucky to get this place. Okay guys, so that is it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload my videos. And the thumbs up button if you like this video. And so, I will see you in my next video.